Hello, welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be painting our earth elemental going to be a very simple video this one um, as you can see we have some paint on our palette already the majority of these I'm not going to be using I will be using that one though that one is Abaddon black um, so let's get into it shall we I've used this because I was um, I did this paint to the palette because I was doing the bases for the other models that we've just done. Um, so we're just going to slap this paint all over this mini. Very simple. Um, I'm not even going to insult your intelligence by letting you watch all of this. I'm just going to do a quick um, cut and it will be finished in a moment. Okay. And here we go, we're nearly finished now, it's just this top bit to do, and um, once we've done that, everything should be covered, it's just a case of allowing it to dry, uh, just make sure that you have got everything done, that there's no um, one of the primer showing through, but again, if there is primer showing through, as long as there's it's dark in the crevices that's all that matters because in this case the primer is grey and uh, it's going to be things like that colors like that that we're going to be using next so um, it's not vitally important that everything gets covered with this one but you know just to make everything even just to make sure as much as you can gets covered next we're going to use a darker grey now we're not going to use anything like um, the fang which we use, which we'll be doing for the basis we're going to be using a darker grey if um, if I can find it um, which at the moment I can't seem to see it at all there we are found it <laughs> it's still wet so we don't want to go over it too soon, we have to wait until it dries first of all. But we're going to start with the Dawnstone and then a further dry brush of Administratum Grey. And then if needed we'll have another of Pallid Witch Flesh. We have other things we're going to do as well with this so it's not just those. And for some strange reason, when we're in a situation like this, <sighs> it takes ages for this to dry. <laughs> not to worry, not to worry. So we've uh, managed to do the others. Um, the only one we haven't managed to finish off is the um, salamander. And we've got out of the way. We had a little problem with the... the um, on the stone chippings not sticking to this side so I want to put more on so that's done so I'm going to show you with this one um, what I did and I did exactly the same thing with the um, fire elemental as well so we'll go with the fang and using the dry brush as we usually do. Want to get as little as we can of the paint on this brush. So it's apply the paint to the, get the paint on the brush, rub it off, and then we can just go ahead and gently brush over what we've painted black making sure of course that we'll leave some of the black showing um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the fang to this because it's not showing up incredibly well and this is one we do want to show up so we'll just and again the stones are coming off for some reason I don't know why oh well not to worry so that's step one well, step one was uh, applying the 
the sand to the base. Step two was painting it black. Step three <laughs> is the fang. Step four is Administratum Grey. So I want a little bit of this on the brush. Again, not a vast amount. Oops. It's on the brush, wipe it off, and then we can just go straight over the stones here. Just like so. And then finally, the last step, well, the next last step for this one is using white scar. Now, I so say next to last because usually we finish off the bases with white scar, but this is going to be different because I want to do something a little extra just because it's flame. There we go. So because it's flame we want to say to do something just that little bit extra. Um, and that little bit extra is Cassandra Yellow. This is just to give the floor the look of actually reflecting flame that's going on around it and above it. So we just give the floor or the group base a wash just like so and that will do and that's all we're doing for that one how's this doing still a little damp not too much though so talking for a few seconds to see if this actually dries up a little it doesn't seem to be doing it at the moment but I just want to find a different brush because I don't want to be using the dry brush we have already um, Just looking for the bigger of the two dry brushes that I have. It's got a better bristle. Um, it's still not fully dried, however, it needs to be dried completely. So I'll wait until it dries and then um, we'll continue with this. Okay? Okay, we're back. And uh, here we are. Um, it looks as though he's dried fairly well. Um, he's covered over completely with all sorts of there's a little spot there that's not quite dried at the moment. <clears throat> that's not a problem because by the time we get round to it, it will have, I would hope. So, as I said, we're going to start off with Dawnstone. It's all going to be greys, this one. There's going to be no blues or anything. And there's a good reason for that. Um, you'll find out what that reason is a bit later. But we'll get some on the palette and just wipe straight down. It doesn't... I'm not looking for... Um, an incredibly dry, dry brush. I'm looking for something to add the grey. Through the miniature and um, what I'm going to do is open that up again and get some more paint on the bristles um, again what we're trying to get here is all of the miniature done 
um, we're not doing highlights here, we're just getting the base coat of the um, the rock substance coloured in, as it were. So it's it's got to be starting off as a grey rock kind of thing. We'll be coming back to highlight a little later. And when we do that, it's just going to be another two levels of brightness. with the, um, the different greys that we're going to be using. Next, making sure that the brush is dry. Um, and that's the hard part, making sure it's dry. We're going to be using Administratum Grey. This is one of those where we don't need a lot of paint on the brush. So we'll put it on, wipe it off, and then we'll add some downward strokes just where you think light will hit. That is all we're looking for. Um, and we'll add some more paint to the brush, wipe it off, and straight down the back. Just like so. Now this is what this will stand out from the base. I promise you it will stand up from the base because it's not going to be the same colours and we have another step after we do the next one. Um, so what we need to do this time is again wash the brush out making sure it is completely dry and then pallid witch flesh is the next um, paint we're going to be using. Give it a shake, open it up, and a very, very small amount on the brush. And this is going to be over the highest points just to add a level of brightness to the miniature. We're also going to add a little more to the face, face, facial area, even though it's slightly going to be in shadow. There we go. So that, that's basically him done, but as I say, we want some things to make him stand out. So we're going to use some ashes. The washes we're going to be using are Caribou Crimson, Kelia Green Shed, and Rupiah Violet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a shake and open each one up, making sure obviously that once I've given them a shake, well, the lids are sealed before or closed properly before I give them a shake rather. There we are. And we'll start off.
just by going in and using different colours of wash. To add a more interesting look. To the miniature, making sure all the while that it's not pooling anywhere. There we go. We just want it to uh, cover. the um, miniature not actually engulf it as it were so I'm just going around the base of it because it's all pooling there there we go so we've got all sorts of different colours in that um, rock surface we've got purples red and greens and because of that it's going to look quite different from the um, from the base which is going to be like a bluish color and I'm just brushing over it to make sure that there's no Um, no pooling. There we are. And that is the Earth Elemental done. Hope you've enjoyed this month, uh, this video. It's short, but it's done so until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now <laughs>